The skin has two main layers. The dermis is the lower layer of the skin, which contains blood vessels, nerves, sweat glands, and many other important components. The epidermis is the skin's protective layer. The epidermis has scaly cells that are constantly replenishing themselves. The health of the skin can be affected by many things, including how much time you spend in the sun, your diet, family history, and allergies. Atopic dermatitis seems to be linked to having an immune system that's more reactive than normal. We don't know for sure what causes atopic dermatitis. There's definitely thought to be a genetic component to it, so oftentimes patients will have family members that may have atopic dermatitis, or they may have family members that have other skin conditions, asthma, hay fever, because all of these allergic conditions tend to run together. My brothers had allergies and asthma, and I had exercise-induced asthma with some allergies myself, so it was kind of all tied into one. Even though people might refer to atopic dermatitis as eczema, these terms do not mean the same thing. Eczema is a broad category of skin diseases, and there are several conditions that fall within that eczema umbrella. Atopic dermatitis is within the eczema umbrella. As we've said, atopic dermatitis is the most common form of eczema. It is characterized by persistent underlying inflammation, even when you cannot see it on the surface. 